Hi, welcome. It's Lori Morse with Create Your Health Naturally. I wanted to tell you about the three things that keep your system, might be keeping your system, from taking care and healing everything that might be off track. And I want to have you ask yourself if any of these are going on for you. If even one of them are, let alone all three, then your body might not be able to be in the mode of healing and repairing and renewing like it should be. If renewal isn't happening, then your body is degenerating. And I know that might sound a little bit harsh, but your body can only be in one of the two modes. So either it's renewing itself or it's not. And if it's not, then it's degenerating. And I happen to know from my own experience and from working, you know, over the years with hundreds of other people that renewal is possible. Renewal is a part of life and nature. It's built into life. And you are one with life. So the only way your body in its innate and divine intelligence wouldn't be renewing you and your cells and your organs and bones and tissue is if it's being cut off from doing its job. So I'm going to tell you the three things, and then I'm also going to have us go through a process together in this video that switches the mode to reprogram your system to renewal and to set it into the traje trajectory of life versus deterioration. And the, and the difference real quick between life and deterioration is that life is the same thing as energy, vitality, health, chi, spirit, well-being. Life is also the same thing as love. And love is the one truth that can't be disputed, isn't it? It's underlying the underlying essence to all of our religions and philosophies and our best attempts at being good human beings. And where there's a lack of love or a blindness or a choking off of love, that's where people and situations perish. And degeneration or deterioration, on the other hand, can also be called decay, degradation, breakdown, decomposition, rot, atrophy, weakening. This is a perishing due to the choking off of life. So one is the spiral of life, and the other is a spiral away from life or toward death. And each of us choose. This may or may not be a conscious choice. I notice more often than not, it's an unconscious choice when we get ourselves stuck in the, in the degenerative spiral. And it's one spiral or the other. It can't be both. And I want you to be free to choose the spiral of life. The spiral of living healthfully, of creating well-being and vibrant health for yourself. So the three things that keep our system, or any system really, from healing are stress, which you might already have guessed that. The second one would be a lack of oxygen to our entire system, which is why breathing is so important. And the third would be a lack of all the right nutrients, and that those nutrients can be able to get to all the places they need to support your body in thriving. So if these three things are choked off, then the flow of life is choked off and our, our fullest access to love isn't available. And by the way, just for the record, a lack of oxygen or nutrition is pretty stressful to a human body. Most people think of stress as like the two, there's so many things on our to-do list or a demanding boss or an ailing parent. And most of us are really unaware of the constant stress and internal tension that our body is in. And this really chokes off life. It, puts, uh, it will put you right away in a state of deterioration. And when this adds up over time, it can easily land, land one in the face of a health problem. And that does tend to get our attention. So somewhere along the way, we lost our footing, so to speak, and we got stuck in this spiral, unknowingly and unconsciously, in, in the spiral of degeneration. So the purpose of this video is to simply redirect your system into the life spiral so that all of your good intentions take hold and that you can start getting some traction in creating your health. It's so frustrating to want your health, try your best, and keep meeting with failure or falling short. And that's actually what being in the wrong spiral causes us to do, and that's the frustrating part. As a friend of mine likes to say, we're either green and growing or we're ripe and rottening or rotting. And it can't be both. So I wanted to tell you real quick that I had heard about these spirals, these two different spirals, about 15 or 20 years ago. And I was actually kind of shocked because I had heard at the same time that more than 80% of people were stuck in the in the downward spiral. And I, I didn't 
I couldn't hardly believe that. So I just began noticing and observing. And I did easily see that the, the people, the disconnect between what people said they wanted and what they were actually able to do ongoingly, um, there was a gap. And it's that gap that tends to be the reflection of the spiral of decay that they were in. And I noticed it was mostly unconscious behaviors that drove, you know, drove the ship. And I think over time, mostly people give in to the spiral of degeneration because it's so exhausting and frustrating to try over and over and to meet with failure. So we say things to ourselves like, well, that's just what it is to get old. It's rough getting old. And that's what bodies do is they break down or we look around and we see that it's so common to be in that degenerative spiral that we kind of it kind of justifies it for ourselves. And even though it's common, it's not normal. Now I notice it's happening to people who are younger more and more, and that's unusual. And it's also happening to more people than ever, and it's happening faster than ever. And I just knew that something was not right about this. So then, you know, it kind of cropped into my awareness about three or four years ago. But I have to tell you, it's been about in the last year that people have actually been using language that describes this degenerative spir spiral. And it, it, it just kind of took me by surprise. But it, it has happened so much that it's so obvious that it something is going on. You know, language like, I don't know if it's worth it if it's this hard, or I'm afraid this is going to kill me. Or if I have to live with this pain for the rest of my life, I don't think I can do it. Or it's all I can do to drag myself through the day. Or sometimes I wish I could just go to sleep at night and not wake up in the morning. And these are not expressions of life. And these kinds of comments definitely got my attention. And to me, I, it, it's obvious that people are starting to verbalize that the unconscious pattern in humanity is coming more into conscious awareness. And because it's happened so often, I just know that that's not a coincidence. So it's my opinion that the pattern of the spiral that is not the life spiral is ready to shift. And if you're watching this video, I trust it's ready to shift for you too. And I honor you for everything you've done to get yourself to this point. We are all part of the same pool of life. And if you're breathing, you're part of life. And if life and love are synonymous, which in my way of seeing things they are, then you too are both life and love. And you need your healthy body to participate fully in both. My vision is a world full of healthy, creative people. And I mean creative in the sense of creating solutions to our problems and creating health and creating new ways of doing business and educating our children and, and yes, even creating art if that's, what's one, if that's what one is called to do. I think that art and beauty are sacred. My mission is to support as many people as I can in creating their natural, inborn, intelligent health. It's in you, it's in me, it's in everyone. It just may not look that way with the way the state of, the health, of health is today when we look around. The first step is activating life and health in your body, which in turn deactivates the, de the degeneration spiral, because remember it's one or the other. Then everything you're doing to be healthier, to create health in your body and life, will grab hold and get traction and build in momentum. So let's do it. We're going to be simply placing our hands on our body, and I'm going to walk you through all of this, so don't worry. Then I'm going to, so I'll ask you to place your hands in particular places, and then we're just going to make simple statements that you'll repeat after me. It's, it, this is such a gentle and graceful and actually a quite sacred process. And doing processes like these are great because they bypass the intellect. They bypass your mind's, you know, kind of questioning about whether this is really going to work. And it goes right into your cellular intelligence, right into your divine, you know, cellular knowing. So you don't have to believe it will work. You just have to be willing. So the first thing we'll do is we'll place our hands over our heart, doesn't matter which is on top, and breathe deeply. You breathe as deeply as you can while I walk you through this. Know that your hands on your body over your heart like this while breathing sends a signal to your body that you're safe. That feeling into this with your hands on your body 
generates a feeling of safety. We either feel safe or we feel on alert for danger. And many people are locked in that alert for danger mode. So see if you can just relax into yourself and allow your breath to take you into a sense of feeling safe and soft and more relaxed. And now I'm going to have you bring your hands to your head, one hand on your forehead, the other on the back of your head, just your palm cupping the back of your head, doesn't matter which one. And this particular hand placement helps to really de-stress and balance the body. So we're going to leave our hands here, and I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. This healing is on behalf of all of me, my family, my ancestors, everyone involved, all parts of myself, all points of view I have ever held, and anyone else who would like to benefit from this healing. This healing will happen safely, easily, and completely. At some point in my life, whether consciously or unconsciously, I activated a spiral of degeneration and deterioration. This happened. It's over. I'm okay. And I can relax now. All the places in my mind, body, and life where this has been stored are healing now. All the origins of this are healing now. All the communications and connections related to this are completing now. I forgive everyone who hurt me related to this and wish them love, happiness, and peace. I apologize to everyone I hurt related to this and wish them love happiness and peace. I forgive everyone I blamed for this, including God and myself. All the parts of me that were involved in this are healing now. Whatever is left about this is healing now. I choose life. I choose improvement and renewal in all areas of my life. I choose love. I support love's daily growth and strength in my life. This healing is completely integrated now with my grateful thanks. Okay, now I'm going to have you switch your hands. So if you had your, uh, if you had the hand you had in the back, put on the forehead, and vice versa, the hand you had on the forehead, put in the back. And I'm going to have us take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Make them fairly strong and active breaths. And when you exhale through your mouth, try and relax and soften your body. I know you've been holding your arms up. We're almost done. But just try to relax as much as you can, even as you're holding your hands up.
Excellent. Now I'm going to have us take our hand, our fingers actually, like the, the tips of our fingers, and, and cup them around your ears so that they're actually on your head, if you can see that, uh, behind your ears, and your thumb is uh, in that little nook behind your earlobe. So just your, your fingertips are on your head, and they're just sort of, you know, arced around your ears there. And we're going to take three more deep breaths with the same idea that in through the nose, out through the mouth, and when we exhale, we soften our body and relax our system as much as we possibly can. Excellent. Very, very good. Um, I would like for you to know that this is a one-time thing. It's, it's, a, um, it's a permanent reprogramming. You don't have to do this every single day. Uh, you're, you're in the spiral of, of life now, and I just ask you to just take notice of the subtle changes that are different. Don't look for big, dramatic mountains moving. Um, this is a permanent reset, and it's a purposeful and conscious choice for you to now be a part of the spiral of life, which leaves the previously mistaken spiral of degeneration to just wither away and deteriorate for lack of attention. So thank you for being one more strand in the grand and beautiful tapestry of humanity who's choosing life. It really does matter, and I bow to you for it. So now just I ask you to go forth and feed your awakened life force with deep breathing, healthy, whole foods, uplifting thoughts, and lots of love. And if you trip, it's okay. Just simply get up and compassionately brush yourself off, learn from it, and continue to affirm life. Then ask of your heart and your, your being that life and love show you the best ways for you. When you affirm and ask life and love, your life will never be the same, and, and believe me, that's a really good thing, and it's the very thing that all of us are aching for. So I'd like to leave you with this Chinese um, proverb. It's one of the ancient Chinese proverbs. Tension is who you think you should be, and relaxation is who you are. Love blossoms from relaxation, and love heals. That's what will bring you to your, your healthy and whole life. Please comment and share your experiences. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And it is with these blessings and love that I sign off. Lori Morse with Create Your Health Naturally.